Hello and welcome to Maths Whenever. In this video, we're going to use basic geometry and algebra to derive the quadrilateral area formulas. Let's begin with the definition of a quadrilateral. The term quad is Latin and means four. The term lateral is also Latin and means side. Combining these two Latin terms together then gives us the English word quadrilateral, meaning a four-sided shape. We're going to derive the area formulas for the following quadrilaterals. A square, a rectangle, a parallelogram, a rhombus, a kite, and a trapezium. The way we're going to do this is by exploiting the fact that every quadrilateral is made up of two triangles. And the formula for the area of a triangle is always area equals half times base times height. All we need is some basic geometry and some simple algebra. We will begin with the easiest quadrilateral, the square, and end with the trapezium. We will begin with the trivial case of the square with side lengths L. First, let's divide the square into two right angle triangles as shown. This gives us two areas, A1 and A2. We can see that the area of the square is the sum of the triangular areas A1 and A2. Notice also that the base and height of both triangles are all equal to the length of each side. Therefore, the area of the square equals half base times height of the first triangle plus half base times height of the second triangle. These two terms are like terms and can therefore be summed together to give the area of the square as base times height. However, for the square, the base and the height are both equal to the length. Finally, this means that the area of the square equals length times length or length squared. We next consider a rectangle with length L and width W. First, let's divide the rectangle into two right angled triangles as shown. This also gives us two areas, A1 and A2. Again, we can see that the area of the rectangle is the sum of the triangular areas A1 and A2. However, this time, the base of each triangle equals the length of the rectangle and the height of each triangle equals the width of the rectangle. Therefore, the area of the rectangle equals half base times height of the first triangle plus half base times height of the second triangle. These two terms, again, are like terms and therefore can be summed together to give the area of the rectangle as base times height. However, for the rectangle, the base equals the length and the height equals the width. Finally, this means that the area of the rectangle equals length times width. Now let's consider the parallelogram with base B and height H. First, let's divide the parallelogram into two triangles as shown. Again, this gives us two areas, A1 and A2. We can see that the area of the parallelogram is the sum of the triangular areas A1 and A2. However, this time the base of each triangle equals the base of the parallelogram and the height of each triangle equals the height of the parallelogram. Therefore, the area of the parallelogram equals half base times height of the first triangle plus half base times height of the second triangle. These two terms are again like terms and can therefore be summed together to give the area of the parallelogram as base times height. We will now look at the rhombus with diagonal lengths x and y. We can divide the rhombus into two identical triangles whose areas are a1 and a2. The base of each triangle is x, but the height of each triangle is one half of y. The area of the rhombus is the sum of a1 and a2. Since both these areas are triangles, the area of the rhombus equals half base times height of the green triangle plus half base times height of the blue triangle. For both these triangles, the base is x and the height is half y. Making these substitutions means that the area of the rhombus now equals half x times half y plus half x times half y. Using our knowledge of fraction multiplication, these two terms can be simplified to a quarter xy plus a quarter xy. Finally, these two terms are like terms and can therefore be summed together to give the area of the rhombus as half xy. 
The penultimate quadrilateral we will look at is the kite with lengths x and y. We can divide the kite into two identical triangles whose areas are a1 and a2. This time, the base of each triangle is y, but the height of each triangle is one half of x. The area of the kite is the sum of a1 and a2. Since both these areas are triangles, the area of the kite equals half base times height of the green triangle plus half base times height of the blue triangle. For both these triangles, the base is y and the height is half x. Making these substitutions mean that the area of the kite now equals half y times half x plus half y times half x. Again, these two terms can be simplified to a quarter xy plus a quarter xy. Finally, these two terms are like terms and can therefore be summed together to give the area of the kite as half xy. The final quadrilateral we will consider is the trapezium with parallel side lengths a and b and height h. Like we did with all the other shapes, we can divide the trapezium into two triangles whose areas are A1 and A2. The base of the green triangle is A, while the base of the blue triangle is B. But both triangles have a common height, H. The area of the trapezium is the sum of the areas A1 and A2. Or half AH plus half BH. We now have the expression for the trapezium in terms of A, B and H. We're now going to simplify this expression by factorising. This is done by factoring out the common half H from both terms. Doing this gives us half H times A plus B in brackets. We can re-express this as half A plus B in brackets times H, which is the usual way of writing it. This final expression half a plus b in brackets times h is the area for the trapezium. So now you know where each of the quadrilateral area formulas come from. Let's review them. For the square, the area is l squared. For the rectangle, the area is length times width. For the parallelogram, the area is base times height. For the rhombus, the area is half xy. For the kite, the area is also half xy. And for the trapezium, the area is half A plus B in brackets times height. If you liked this video, then please like, share, subscribe and add a comment. You can also check out more videos at Maths Whenever on YouTube. And for a collection of other mathematical stuff, follow iFiePi on Instagram, where I is the imaginary unit, phi is the golden ratio, E is the exponential function, and pi is the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. Thanks for watching and see you next time.